What is up everyone? So, uh, we've been having fun with the Zanki, right? Last video, we got it all together. Right, that was the last video, we got it all together, right? Yes, we got the front end. Um, we still got a couple of tweaks that we got to do. Uh, we're still waiting on a couple pieces like the bumper, retainer, the hood latch. I could steal this off of another car. Um, but Tommy actually has those pieces. We're gonna go visit Tommy soon and go pick those up. But today I wanna drive the thing for the first time. I can't be caught dead driving around a stock 240. Or a Sylvia, I called it a 240. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm just trying to be, I just want an excuse to no. do these mods. So, um, I know we're doing another S14, and I know it's not like this big change of content, but I had an opportunity to put together myself a Zanki, and I'm gonna take it, all right? Don't, don't ruin this for me. Let me just enjoy myself here, all right? Obviously, this one just kind of fell in my lap, and I want to just enjoy it a little bit before the winter came, right? Yeah. Let me, let me enjoy things. Don't let him enjoy things. No, shut up, man. <laughs> so, so the point I was getting at with all this is we gotta do some mods to this thing today. We gotta get this thing looking right before we get caught on the road with it. And so, we have some HKS Hypermax coilovers. I am super pumped for these. I've never had these before. I've always wanted these. Were like the last set I could. This was like the last set in the states. So I got really lucky. T Tommy's jealous because he couldn't find a set. So I'm happy that I have something that makes Tommy jealous. So we got HKS Hypermax coilovers. Uh, we have the five lug conversion because as you guys know, this is a Q, so it is factory floor lug, and we have to go five lug. We're still waiting on the rotors, but they should show up in about an hour or so. I thought you were saying four lug. Small wheels? No, 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 no. What wheels? They know. They know? They'll find out. They'll see. Pop this thing off, catch that, Tony. Boom. <laughs> nice it. work. Check it out, four lug, four by 114. Yes, there is quite a few cool small wheel options in this lug pattern. Look at that. But small wheel isn't my style. No, small wheel is okay, but. No, no, it, small wheel is cool. Yeah. Just not my style, shout out to the Moist Boys. Uh, but check this thing out, right? I've never seen, seen one of that. these. It's so crispy. <laughs> It's pretty impressive because these are probably one of the cleanest set of stock wheels I have ever seen. Let alone like a Nissan, just a 90s car in general. Look, there's no curbing. There's no like really stain from the brake dust or anything. The center caps, you know, they could use some love, but it is plastic. So these would be a fantastic candidate for a three-piece conversion, right? That's been very popular lately. Yes. It'd be pretty dope too. Not this time. So as you guys see, this is currently a four lug. These are four by 114, and then you convert it to a five lug, which will be five by 114. Mainly because the wheel options are far greater for a five by 114 wheel. There's a very small selection of wheels that are bigger than 16 inches in a four lug setup. So that's why we go to five lug. So the conversion is pretty easy. All we need is the hubs and the rotors uh, from a SE model 240SX, or I guess like a Sylvia Ks. Some Qs come with five lug. Mm. It's, they're weird options, but in the United States, we had the SE model that came five lug. That's how you get your hubs. All right, so since the rotors aren't in yet, we're gonna do the coilovers first. I've heard really good things about the HKS coils, and uh, I'm actually really excited to try them. And they're honestly beautiful. Check these things out. Oh man. Isn't that sick? Those are so nice. They're so hot. I feel like they're very fitting for the car. Yeah, check this out. Aren't those beautiful? Look at the camera plates, the top hat, the shock. Look how thick the shock is. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. This is beautiful. Now I guess we get to see how they ride. So you guys have seen this before. The fronts take two seconds. Just look at the difference between the two. It's always super funny to see. So you always want to preload the spring before you put them in. Uh, it looks like they already preloaded it for us, which is good to see. Um, we just have to come up with a ride height. It's kind of guess and check. So let's start pretty low and go from there. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. And we're done. And then let's use some magic for this side. Boom, she's on there. All right, I want to see this thing with a small wheel on. Check this out. So this is Nissan's Drift Spare. That looks so goofy too. That's a 16 by eight, I think. It is a look though, because it, this has a real- It's like I a VSXX. These are nice wheels. They, they got a good styling to them and it's actually an okay size lift, but it just looks way too puny. I see them, I see them. Yeah. Not my look, but I see them. 
All right, so the rears look actually pretty crazy long, but the 14s are pretty long to begin with, and the fact that there is a helper spring in here, so that will basically fully compress once the weight is on the car. So we'll see how that all works out. But before we put the rear coilovers in, it's actually easier to start doing the hub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock off the front hub, and we're just gonna knock off the rear hub. And then, boom. The front's the easiest thing ever. Uh, you clean it, then we're gonna grease it. Take the new hub. Yes, we got the right one. That's good. Then you take this. Do not forget this washer. Wait. We're good. That's it. We need to put the rotor on and then the brakes, but the rotors haven't shown up yet. So, on to the next. That thing's on there. How you doing? Look at that, Tony. So the rears are definitely more of a pain in the ass in the front, that's for sure. The back bolts, uh, they're a little frustrating. Very. How's it going over here, Tony? That cotter pin's really kicking your ass, huh? Yeah, I need the hammer. <laughs> nice work, Tony. She's all set to go. In, in the meantime of that all happening, uh, the rotor showed up. Literally perfect timing. So. Got new drilled and slotted. So let's throw these on and we should be good to go. You ever see like in the drum line with the guys with the cymbals and they're just like. No. You never seen that? Never. You ever watch the movie Drumline? No. Grow up. You ever seen that shit when they're like <laughs> all over the fucking place? Oh, with the uh, cymbals and shit? Yeah. And, and, like, and it, like this yeah. with the flame. Yeah. Come on, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> let's Come on, let's go take a break. We got two hours. Let's go. All right. A few moments later. Nick Cannon really killed it on that one. Look at that, love to see it. The stock brakes are so puny and ugly. I will change that eventually, but for now, we're good to go. What's up? We didn't do the rear coils. Yeah, I know, it's next. So the rear coils are, it'd be real easy because there's one bolt on bottom, two bolts on top, but the two top bolts are underneath all the interior bits. And so I'm gonna have to send Tony's little ass in the back of the car to get him. This is the tool. That is the tool. So we're underneath the rear deck lid. This is where the two nuts are for the strut. These are hard to come by, so you gotta be real careful with those. Yeah, don't don't be screwing those things up. There we go. Look how long this thing is. Ugh. Use that thing as a hood prop. <laughs> Literally. Oh, good. oh whoa, whoa. New versus old. This thing's still super long, and we have this thing bottomed out. Yeah, I'm a little sense. worried these aren't gonna go that low. <laughs> Yo, cut the springs. Take out the helper no, spring. No, we, we might have to take out the helper spring, but I'm gonna put it in with it in and see what happens. These are performance-based coilovers, so they're not made to be slammed on its face. I would Send say them back. On the white, though. The, the white. Gold, so good, so good. This car would be the ultimate car to dry ice blast. It would look brand new. Look how clean it's under here. It's obviously just dirt and stuff, but if you dry ice blast this car, it would look like Jay Leno should buy it, you know? We should hit him up. We should hit him up. I don't think he has a 14. <laughs> you think Jay Leno's got a 14? No, I don't think he's got a 14. This is the 14 he needs, though. Jay Leno. Yeah. Hit, us up. You, hit us up. We'll I'll, give it to you cheap. 50 grand. I'll, I'll call him. <laughs> Let's go. I met Jay Leno. Did you really? Yeah. How was that? I met him at uh, the college campus. Be honest. He's probably not watching. Was he? He was a cool guy. Someone drove by and was like, you, he goes, he goes, you, Jay Leno, Jimmy Kimmel's way funnier. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and he's just like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I was crying. All right, so the five lug conversion and the coilover install is officially finished. It's starting to feel like something, right, Deej? Correct, though. So now we need to put wheels on this thing to officially see it. It's going to look a little funky without arrow. Zanke's kind of look goofy, it's a complete stock body. You know, it's a very round, skinny car. It's kind of goofy looking, not gonna lie. We all know it. I do have skirts and rear spats, but they gotta get painted, and we're doing that soon, but for now, we're gonna be stock body. So just keep that in mind when you see the wheels. These only have four holes. Yeah, we're not using those wheels, Donnie. I thought we were no, gonna drill no, another no. extra We gotta hole. drill. It's yeah. no problem. We just need one extra hole. I was good in geometry class. I'm, I can get them on there. None of us are good at finding the hole, so we'll just make one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these things aren't going on. So um, I've actually had wheels for this car for a very long time, and you guys have actually seen them before. Now I'm gonna let it ponder for a couple seconds, right? We've seen Sit them? there. We feel we, you've all seen them. I haven't seen them. You've seen them. You think? Oh yeah. 
ponder. I'm pondering. Well, the wheels that we have for the Zanke have been tucked away in the corner right here, and they are TE37s right here on my nice little S15 pedestal. These were available and I really wanted them and I figured I'd buy them either for the S15 or the Zanke, right? Similar fitment, I feel like I couldn't go wrong on them as you guys can see. And honestly, they look way too cool in the S15. I feel really guilty taking them off, but that car isn't in the process of getting built just yet. So in the meantime, the Zanke's getting spoiled. I like T37s. Yeah, big fan. Yeah, you should chrome them. I think I should. Yeah, they look better. Steve has chrome T37. So, um, like I said, it's probably gonna look kind of goofy, probably at the height and with the stock body and stuff, but, but I think the bronze and the white might look actually pretty cool. What do you think, Tony? Let's throw them on. Let's throw these on so you can see what it looks like. <sighs> Disregard this, it'll... Settle. It'll settle, I hope. <laughs> okay, so the A-teams look so massive they do. on the stock body. It's a skinny car. We said this too. I was saying it before. I was like, they're mm -hmm. gonna look goofy today. Oh man. They look a lot darker on the white. They look so much darker on the white than on the pewter. Oh boy. Chrome. What was that? Chrome. Chrome. That's it. Solves it. Let me get them. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen chrome TEs? Yeah, Steve's. Yeah, Steve's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look how good that looks, dude. With the custom machine center cap. Yeah, it's so cool. Imagine buying brand new TEs, shipping them right to Chrome, and then boom. You're just like the coolest guy around. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> dude, like look how good these look. Look how good this looks with the little purple accents, the brakes. Oh, look the at those brakes. This car's too cool. Steve! Let me get the Chrome TEs, buddy! Man, f off. <laughs> All right, so I am obsessed with the way the TEs look on the 15. Like, it looks so freaking cool. Way better than the 14. I was expecting great things, but for some reason, it's just not doing it for me. It just wasn't the look. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Given uh, I definitely need a smaller tire in the front, like a, a skinnier tire, and, it, and when it's lower, it'll look a lot better too. But I don't know, just not sold on it. I don't have many other wheels to spare. We have good old, we have the old faithful right here that we've had on like every single car. Mm -hmm. Come on, they probably look huge. They look huge. That looks like a 20. Yeah, it's because the tire and the fact that the car is not low. And I told you, without side skirts, the Zankies look goofy. I love- Yo, hold on, game changer. Two wheels on one side, two wheels on the other side. We'll determine what we like better. We'll pull it out in the sun, we'll look at all four colors of white, and then we'll fuck. You guys will say TEs anyway, so I'm gonna put the TEs on it. But this no. color, dude, this color on the white, it's good. It's good. So we got the TEs on one side. All right. We got the Conte Tans on the other. Let me just rephrase this again. I don't think any of these are staying on this car. I think we could all assume the TEs belong on the Pewter S15. Right? We're gonna <laughs> leave it. So we gotta find something else. Obviously stock body wheels are kind of hard to find right now, but we'll figure it out. So in the meantime, let's see what we like best. So the rear will clearly go low. That's not, that's not to worry about. The front, I'm hoping it'll settle. Kind of, I'm really hoping so. Worst case, we could always take a collar out and get it a little bit lower. It looked good if it had full kit, and the fitment wasn't all whack. The fitment's yeah. so whack right now. There's no fitment is there. super whack. I think this color, Compliments the chassis a lot better. But, you know, disregard the black fin mint. I raised the rear a little bit, it leveled the stance out, at least on this side, and that looks a lot better leveled out. Right? Oh yeah. It just looks so goofy with no wing, no skirts, no nothing, I don't know. Maybe it looks better rolling. You guys, let me know. He had no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> you see that wimpy little. I mean, the thing drives great. It feels awesome. Like, I feel like I'm still on stock suspension minus the whole, like, 10 feet of travel. Alignment? Alignment's not as bad as you'd expect. Yeah. The alignment right now, aka no alignment, still feels better than DJ's car, like, aligned. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> so, I don't know, dude. I'm happy to be in it. I'm happy to drive it around. I'm happy it's like a whole car right now. Um, not happy with the way it looks on the wheels, but you know what? We could fix that, so. And you know what's great about the car? We never really talked about it. It has, whoever previously had it, put some bitchin' speakers in this thing and a nice head unit, so it, it bumps. It's all right. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. So I have Navin skirts. These aren't Navin skirts. This is, this is a kooky, like, USDM skirt. But watch, it's funny, because I guarantee if we mock this up, the wheels will look better. Don't be putting kooky parts on it. Mix and match, Donnie. It's OEM. Fuck you. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, dude. Come on, look, the wheels look better. I'm Way telling better. you. Okay, that looks Way a lot better. better. Isn't that funny how that works? I'm telling you, it's the stock body Zanke that kind of throws off because it looks just like a pickle right now. Put skirts on it, it levels it out. Lower the front a little bit if you could. See, Donnie? Not bad, huh, kid? Not bad. See? So much better. Show me up real quick. Sheesh. Damn, that thing looks so good. And then my basic ass bitch right there. <laughs> oh man, look how good the Navin bumper looks. Like, Nissan killed it because it has such similar styling but so much different. It looks like the evolved form of the OEM bumper, doesn't it? Evolved, that's a great word, it's a good term. Yeah, obviously I'm missing the grill because I'm missing the retainer that holds it. You know, Gannon doors, better fitment and a Navin bumper, I'm in there. All right, I know this whole video has been nothing but me just kind of going like, ah. Oh, uh. I don't know if I like them or not, but now that it's getting darker out and I've been looking at them for a while and the little side skirt is on, they're growing on me, all right? But I'm not in love with it. I just don't think this is the look. I, I'm kind of feeling the rear and that makes me um, really wonder if it's just more of a fit, fitment issue. The bronze just looks super dark compared to the white and I've just never been a fan of like darker wheels. But it is nice to see this car outside, lowered, looking good, looking like a whole ass car. And uh, now I can't wait to drive it and I officially feel like I have my very own Zinke and I love it. A clean Zanky. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. What's up, fellow Zanky bro? What's up, bro? I came to steal your front clip because I need it. Okay, yeah, I'm happy to share. I don't know, James. They're kind of growing on me. I think it's the magic hour that's doing it. These Maybe. Brakes are small. The brakes? They're small. And we'll, yeah, don't, we don't want to talk about it. It's going to feel <laughs> self conscious, all right? I mean, I got those brakes on my car. I don't I know. Care. Stock 240 brakes are just. <laughs> look how goofy those look. And the worst part is when you put a Z. A Z caliper on it, the rotor is not much bigger in diameter, so it looks just as puny. That's comical. Dude, I don't know. It's not bad. I don't know, it looks better than it's darker out. Maybe because the wheels don't clash. It's... I'm gonna shut up, I just talking way too much. Sure, let's really good. But screw it, dude. I have a running driving Zanke now, which is dope. And you got it in almost all one color in one shot, while well, mine took a while before it was one color. <laughs> one of my very few cars that's one color. Look at it. Look at my two Zankies together. <laughs> I love it. Love it so much. Damn, the 33 looks so good this time of day. So I've done a lot of talking, but I gotta remind myself that cars just don't look cool like that. They take a lot of work, they take a lot of parts, and um, I think it looks good, I just think it looks incomplete. I think that's the problem here. On either of the wheels, right? We're talking about need side skirts, some rear spats, like office lift to get a grill in it. The Zankies look a little goofy and just like pure stock body form, right? They're very skinny, they're very just like goofy looking. I love them, but whatever, I just have to, I need to shut up, honestly, but um, but we've made good progress with this car. It's been less than a week, and it went from being smashed in the front end and never really driving the thing to it basically a complete car driving around feeling great. And uh, we have a lot more work to do, but I won't try and milk it out too much. Um, I know it's just been like more S chassis content, but this was my opportunity to get a Zanke and to have fun with it, so I'm gonna take full advantage of it. So I have Another like big thing I really want to do with it, and I got to decide if I want to do it right now or if I'm gonna wait a little bit, but we'll see. I don't know. Still been heavily looking for a Supra. It's driving me nuts. I'm dying to wrench on some Toyota stuff, but 
we'll see. I don't want to rush it, but for now, we made good progress. It's getting there. One thing at a time. Still got a couple more pieces we need to make this thing look complete, but so far I'm proud of it and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna end it there before I ramble on anymore. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly.